I'm Holland, and today I'm going to show you the ground basics of the ukulele, so let's get started. Rather than starting with the music, I'm going to be starting with the ukulele itself. First, we separate the ukulele into three separate parts. The headstock, the neck, and the body. On the headstock, we have the tuning pegs or tuning keys, which tighten the string. The tighter the string, the higher the note. On the neck, we have the fretboard and the frets. On the body, we have the sound hole and the saddle, and finally, the strings. You also want to generally hold your ukulele up against you like this. And that's just a basic rundown. Touching on the more important aspects of the ukulele, here we have the strings. A basic ukulele typically has four strings that go from left to right as follows. G, C, E, and A. The way that I typically remember this is grandma can't eat apples. But you know, whatever works for you is always best. To play a ukulele well, you typically want to know how to tune it properly. I recommend using a real tuner. Um, I've been using the Crafter Auto Tuner ever since I've been playing and it's worked just fine, but you can find a pretty decent tuner at any music store or online. If you don't have access to a tuner, you could usually just find a piano or watch some videos online to tune it just fine. Now for the fun part, the chords. Now back to the fretboard. Each of these little notches is called a fret. When I press onto the fret, the note changes like so. Pretty simple. Each of the frets are numbered. So when I'm pressing none of the frets, it's fret zero. But this is row one, row two, row three, and so on. So how do you read chords based on frets? When written in fret number format, it's written from left to right based on what fret needs to be pressed. So a C chord is written 0, 0, 0, 3. Any minor chord is written 0, 4, 3, 2, and so on. Next is strumming. There are many different strumming patterns. So for this video, we're going to exclude palm muting and picking and just stick with the basics. Generally using up and down arrows or U's and D's, it is how it sounds, up, down, up, down. So this, will sound like this. Or this. And this will sound like this. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in another one.